that all over Genesis chapter 1 is Jesus littered everywhere. Chapter 2, the tree of life is Jesus. Genesis chapter 2, he's the tree of life. And Adam chose death over life. Everything created for him and everything made by him and through him and for him. Genesis chapter 2 verse 18. It is not good for a man to be alone. That's Christ. I will make him a help meet. Ezar. Ezar. One who rescues you from trouble. That Genesis 2 18 is not marriage. The wife is not the help meet. The wife can't rescue you from trouble. So he was talking of Jesus using marriage as a parable. Jesus is the help for man. He's the Ezar. The help meet for man. In the tree of life we see Christ Jesus hidden in that activity. And how many of you observe that before, before the scriptures talks about Azar, I will make him a help. In the previous verse, he talks about the tree of life and the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. And after that, he now said, I will make a help for man. Because man will fall and man will need help. And the help for man will be Jesus. Am I teaching? All through the scriptures, 22 places, the word help me is used. It was never used for a woman. It was always used for Jesus. So in case you're a woman and you think you're the helpmate for your husband, stop that. You are the wife. The helpmate is for both the wife and the man. The wife too needs help just like the man needs help. So both of them need help and the only helper for both of them is Jesus. I will lift up my eyes to the hills from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from where? Not from my wife, from the Lord. My help cometh from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Teaching good. So let me add this very quickly. The scriptures are meant to confront you. The, the mission of Bible teaching is confrontation. The scriptures are meant to confront you. What do I mean by that? They are meant to confront your beliefs. The scriptures are not written to agree with you. When I'm teaching, people come on my page, I don't agree. He has not even had anything. I don't agree. That's an illiterate talking. Intelligent people don't talk. They wait to hear everything. When they have had everything, they ask intelligent questions. When they have finished asking their questions, then they arrive at a conclusion. Don't just appear and say, I don't agree. That thing he says is not true. The woman is not the helper for the man. No, it's not true. See, illiterate. The word help me is the word Ezra. Ezra is used 22 times and it is only used for God. So God is the helper of both man and woman. The wife is not the helper. It's God. Ezra. And where that verse was written was after Genesis where the tree of life and the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Then God says it's not good for a man to be alone. I will give him a help. That help is Jesus who came to help man from his decision against the gospel. But when you, do, when you don't listen, you, you bring your CRK knowledge into the headquarters of revelation knowledge. You start shouting, I don't agree. I don't have CRK. Most TR, some CRK teachers are not even born again. They are not even Christians. They are smoking and teaching. Uh, Genesis chapter 1. <laughs> uh, chapter 1 verse 1. Then that, that year, year you learn, you now want to come and, 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 and be disagreeing with revelation knowledge. Is something not doing you? <laughs> the scriptures are not written to agree with you. The scriptures are written so you agree with them. You are the one to agree with the scriptures. That's why it will confront you. Profitable for teaching. Didascalia. Explanation. Scriptures. Which is to convince you. Reproof. Electro. Which is also to bring you to correction. A fanatosis. Which is to set you right. And then out of that. To instruct you which is spiritual growth. The scriptures are not for you to agree with them. 